If you travel to Colleen, Coppers Cove, or further west, chances are that you take Interstate 14. But now I-14 is getting an expansion. 25 News investigator Dennis Turner explains that the funding is in the huge infrastructure bill before the United States Congress. Good morning, Texas. Currently, Interstate 14 takes us from here in Belton here to the Bernie Beck Gate at Fort Hood. The road to the post makes for a vital link between Bell County and its most important economic engine. Now imagine if that highway could take you to El Paso or Camp Shelby in Mississippi or even Fort Benning in Georgia. That's where the proposed expansion of US 14 may take us. If there's one sign of Texas growth that gets David Reed riled up, it's the traffic. The traffic's getting worse. The longer delays, you know, bumper to bumper, you know, short tempers, you know, that, that kind of thing, but uh, that's just life. That's why leaders in Bell lobbied more than 20 years ago to get a bigger road from its fastest growing population centers to the county's biggest economic engine the 123 billion horsepower Fort Hood. Fort Hood uh, is the largest single economic engine in the county. Uh, I don't see that changing anytime in the foreseeable future. And there are collateral benefits for, for, for having Fort Hood here. Those collateral benefits, namely businesses and jobs. So leaders in Bell propose remaking a portion of US Highway 190 into an interstate quality, limited access road, giving people who lived in Temple, Troy, Salado, and other East County towns, a less congested way to go west for economic prosperity. At the same time, a group calling itself the Gulf Coast Strategic Highway Coalition proposed a highway that would link as many military bases as possible across the Southern United States. Jim Reed, head of the Central Texas Council of Government says, that's how Bell County got to make its pitch. And so each community studied what impact that would have and uh, what design elements they might need to put in there. Ours ended up being uh, the impetus for US 190 becoming um, Interstate 14. TxDOT released a study in 2012 on the feasibility of the bigger Interstate 14, which found traffic had increased to the level that it needed to upgrade Highway 190, but it couldn't justify the money for an interstate. Meantime, leaders found money to add on to the new Bell 190 segment. You know, a lot of projects are stacked up to that because um, you know, we did the flyover from uh, I-35 northbound to head west out towards Colleen, and we did that with stimulus dollars um, with TxDOT's help. Jim Reed says you can expect more spin-off spending as local and state governments add on their own projects to take advantage of what a new freeway will bring. Uh, you know, a lot of those projects work together because it's um, a, a project of this magnitude is going to have multiple phases uh, in multiple yeah. jurisdictions. Judge Blackburn, who once worked in economic development and ran Bell County's two biggest cities, sees bigger dollar signs for everyone. Uh, I think I just saw a report uh, a few days ago that said the economic impact of Fort Hood was $123 billion or something like that, um, which was mm -hmm. up about 10 percent, maybe more than that, from the last time they did an economic report on Fort Hood. And what does David Reed of East Texas see in his future? Well, more taillights. How far are you willing to drive to go to work? What's the most? Uh, I, I drive 30 miles right now, so that's what I, that's comfortable for me. Would you drive further? Spend on the money. If it's, the money's good, I'll drive a little further. Judge Blackburn and many others say, with the growth that should come from a new interstate, Reed may yet get that money for his longer commute. Today at 5 and 6 on 25 News, a look at the parallel infrastructure bills moving through Congress, including the bipartisan bill that includes this project right here. What's in them and what their chances are. And by holding your breath for the interstate construction to start is a really, really bad idea. In Bell County, Dennis Turner, 25 News.